Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a modern family home uh, on the island in Hindenburg. It's built on a 30 by 20 and, and it comes in at 64,748 simoleons. So it's a home for four sims. There is one master bedroom and two rooms for either a kid either kids or teenagers. There is not a toddler bed, but you could easily swap one of the beds or both the beds with um, toddler beds instead of the normal uh, single beds. So I decided to build here. I wanted to still build in winter, even though it's after Christmas. For, for us here in the Czech Republic, uh, the winter mostly comes after Christmas. So we usually get snow um, after Christmas than before Christmas. So we had snow about a week ago. Now it's been just very cold, but not snowy. Uh, but I felt like it was still um, like not active. I, I, I'm trying to figure out the word I want to use, but I can't. Whatever. It's still something that's happening. So it's still winter. So we can still get snow. And yeah, that's. Uh, what was my thought process so I decided to build in winter so now we are working on the shell I used a lot of uh, items from eco lifestyle here because I really wanted to go for like a very modern vibe and also used the window that we got patched into the game with uh, I mean it's base game but the window should have been a part of the industrial loft kit and I also used this big like a door from that kit as well, which I absolutely adore, and it looks really, really great on the inside. Um, the floor plan is fairly interesting. I was really proud of what I figured out with it. So we have like a step down into the living room. This cube in the middle is like a small half bathroom. Maybe not half. I'm not sure if I put a shower in or not. Maybe it's a full bathroom. Yeah, it's a full bathroom. There is a shower. So it's a full but very tiny bathroom. And then upstairs you have two kid bedrooms, one master bedroom and one bigger bathroom. And the rest of uh, the downstairs is kitchen dining uh, space. I really, really love how it turned out. The living room might be one of my favorites I've done ever. I have it on my uh, desktop uh, or my laptop as um, a background because I love it so much and I even decided to put it into the thumbnail of the video as you might have already seen because I just loved the way it turned out and I needed to kind of uh, have it seen in uh, the thumbnail so that's uh, super exciting <laughs> uh, now we're just adding the wallpapers we did the floor plan and I think we are going to move on to landscaping yes I this is not the order in which, uh, in which I worked on the build, but I thought I would keep um, the order I normally have. So you can see on the inside of the house that I already have um, part of the house furnished, but I wanted to keep what I normally do. So I did the floor plan and the shell, then I did the uh, interior, then I did uh, then I did the first floor, sorry, I did the first floor, then I did the exterior, uh, meaning the landscaping and then I went in cluttered up part of the first floor and did the second floor but that's not the order I usually go with and I did not want to kind of make the video different in that sense so that's why I decided to kind of play with the footage a little bit and like move it around a little um yeah I did the landscaping in summer because as I've already talked about in my previous winter videos I prefer to work on my landscaping when I can see what I'm doing and I want to make sure it looks good even without the snow. If you decide to play with it you don't need to play in the snow. So that's why I um, kind of get rid of the snow so I can work uh, with uh, uh, the landscaping. Yeah. Um, if you want to download this build, it's going to be available on my gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims YT, and you can also grab the tray files in the description box below. They're available on my Kofi page, uh, so I put them there uh, with everything, all the information, so you can find them there. There's always a link in the description. 
uh, below. So yeah, we are just finishing up the landscaping, I think, and then we are going to move on to the porch kind of area. I had an inspiration picture as always, but I forgot to um, share it because I'm I'm used to this when it comes to this. I just forget. I did. I usually there is usually a very big gap between when I finish the build and where I record voiceover now because I have a lot of pre-recorded stuff. So I'm doing the voiceovers like maybe a month after I finish the house and. I just delete the photo because I don't like cluttered up um, like photo vlog in my on my phone. I prefer to have as little things as possible that are not photos um, from like traveling and things like that. So whatever I can, I delete as quickly as possible. That's why I almost never have the inspiration picture anymore because I delete them. So I hope you don't mind, but yeah. Now I did some magic with the tool mod here and I lowered down this wall decor with the plants because I felt like it looked really pretty, 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 I can't speak, sorry, uh, it looked really pretty with uh, the furniture around it. Um, yeah, I think the plants would probably die in winter obviously, but um, yeah, whatever, it's the sims, we don't care. Uh, so now I moved on to the interior as you can see, and you can see that the exterior is not done here. I went for quite a dark color scheme, but I paired it with um, like a liner wood and uh, white and gray and black. So it's very dark, but I really, really like how the color scheme turned out. I've been loving a dark interiors lately. I don't know why, because my room is like bright and white and turquoise but it's, I, I don't know in the sims I've been obsessed with dark interiors and I did some lighter ones but I do a lot of like darker interiors uh, which is kind of fun it's a uh, it's a nice change I think it depends on what we are in mood for because I, I have a time where I prefer to build um, modern stuff and there is time when I prefer to build cottages but I think uh, what I really really like um, about building is the modern stuff. I really like doing modern builds, modern structures and yes I think I finally after the, uh, a year and something forgot, uh, not forgot, uh, found my, my style which is uh, really cool and I'm, I'm happy. I mean not everything turns out the way I want it to be obviously like can't it's impossible but i really like the way our channel uh, or my channel is heading to where i'm going and i'm really growing nicely so yeah i don't think i've spoken about my goals for the year in here i posted them on twitter um very early on in january uh, not january yeah january uh, i'm sorry my brain is not working today <laughs> um in january so um, I would like to get my channel to 1,000 uh, subscribers, or over 1,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, I don't really have that many watch hours, so I don't think I can get monetized this year. I would have to get a lot of subs uh, to make it to the 4,000 watch hours, because right now I think I have around 500, so there is a, still a very, very long way to go. I also want to um, kind of experiment with the modern style a lot more because as I said I found myself in it and like to experiment. I would love to start streaming but unfortunately my laptop cannot handle it so I have to wait until I am able to buy a better computer which I am not sure when it will be. And for my personal goals I will be finishing my bachelor degree pretty soon um, so I want to uh, pass as fast as I can so I can have as much time off before I start my master's degree in September or uh, September or October uh, so yeah I just want to have a good year I mean 2021 wasn't that bad for me uh, but it's, it could have been better uh, so and I also hope I can kind of manage my um, 
that pain a little bit better than I did last year because last year was not great when it came to that so I would really uh, love to um, make it better and I think I'm on my way for that I met an amazing physical therapist um, late last year and it's been really great and uh, my back's been getting better which is amazing considering I've had uh, the pain almost constantly for three years now and uh, so I really really hope this helps and I can kind of manage uh, the pain I'm not expecting I can get rid of it completely but I would like to make it a little bit better because it's not been exactly great uh, last year anyway let's back let's come back to the build we are working on the living room that I mentioned before that I absolutely adore I use the couches and chairs from the industrial loft kit and I paired it with this super cute I believe it's face game rock and I felt like it looked perfect I added some plants there are the big mosquito windows behind it and I absolutely love how it turned out and as you can see I am absolutely obsessed with the plants from the blooming room it's kit still it's like um I found packs that I absolutely adore and that I want to use all the time, which is uh, Dream Home Decorator. I think it's like a year, or not now, it can't be a year, but it's a long time since it came out and I'm still absolutely upset because it's exactly what my style looks like. It's like an IKEA kind of thing and I love it. I also use Eco Lifestyle a lot. I use the Industrial Loft Kit and the Blooming Room Kit a lot. I use Snow Escape a lot. So I have like my favorite packs that I use and then there are packs that I don't really use that often. But I love it. Yeah, so I love it. Now we are just uh, cluttering up the kitchen, which I didn't do uh, straight away. I usually, um, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to building. So that's why I don't really like building bigger houses because I get tired of them. That's why I usually like, uh, even with my kitchen, I usually like make the shape and then I clutter it up either later on in the same session because I usually uh, do my belts in like four, uh, three sittings because it's connected to my back plane. I can't really sit um, by my computer for that long building because it makes my back hurt and everything. So I usually um, clutter up stuff in the next like sitting in the next session, which is kind of interesting and weird in a way, but I, I don't know, I, I like it that way because cluttering is fairly time consuming and yeah it can take a lot of time so I usually need a new dose of patience uh, for that that's why I usually do it uh, the next day I guess so I cluttered up the, the kitchen it's kind of like separated a little bit because on the right side we have like the main uh, kitchen spaces on the other side uh, you have a microwave and the coffee machine so now we moved on to the upstairs bathroom. So there is a tub here, uh, which there's something really special. I just used the wall decorations from um, Dream Home Decorator as like a backsplash sort of thing for uh, the bathtub, which I thought looked really cool. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more interesting because the bathroom looked very boring. So that's why I did. I have a tutorial for if you want to create this. I have a different one a little bit because it uses tools but this one doesn't need tools. I might do this one uh, separately as well because now that I think about it this one doesn't have uh, to have tool. Yeah I might do that. Anyway now we are working on the master bedroom. I used the snowy escape bed and I really really like how this bedroom turned out as well. So you have the bed from snowy escape and I used uh, the chair stool kind of thing from uh, oh, Jungle Adventure, that's how it's called. And on the other side here, I did like a custom uh, modular furniture um, dresser for the parents. And I absolutely adore how it turned out. I figured out that if you use the closed um, furniture from Dream Home Decorator, this way and you sand it down a little bit with tool mod you can close off um, some of the open shelving especially these I love this but I don't like to clutter it up all the time which is why I used the closed um, 
furniture as um, the door and I look it looks pretty awesome it works it's perfect uh, so I yeah if you if you want to do that I might do that as a uh, as a, as a tutorial as well I'll take a photo of that and I'll remember to do so I've been loving making the real tutorials and I also started posting on TikTok so if you want to follow me on TikTok you can find it in my link tree which is also down below and yeah I've been having a lot of fun uh, with the tutorials so I wanted to kind of expand um, on TikTok as well I, I don't need to make any extra uh, uh, content for TikTok because I already make the reels for Instagram and for uh, my YouTube channel so that's why I thought to kind of expand to TikTok as well because it's a very popular platform nowadays and I felt like I could use it to promote myself a little bit more um, yeah talked uh, over the rest of the uh, master bedroom but now we are working on the first of the kids bedrooms so I thought that this is kind of an older kid uh, a guy possibly I mean it could be a girl but I was I had a guy a boy in mind who can be like maybe a teen or like a close to being a teen because this is more like a mature um, bedroom um, it's more like dark less colors and I really like how it turned out I I haven't played this to the build as because I never do. I'm just way too lazy to do that, unfortunately. And I always forget about it, so I just stop doing it. And um, yeah, I don't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. Um, so I'm just gathering up the the desk. I added a couple of like toys here and there. So maybe it's like an older boy because if you add a toy box and a plushie or like a stuffed animals, it's probably not. For a teenager, a boy a teenager, uh, of all. Uh, but yeah, the bedroom on the other side of the hall is for like a smaller girl, uh, and I used pretty much the same items as the bedroom on uh, the other side, but I used a different color scheme in here, which is more like pinkish, purplish kind of color. And I really like how this bedroom turned out because I really like the use of, of colors and. Uh, everything so it's uh yeah I really like how how that looks uh, we adding some like decorations here and there I also added the bookcase uh, some like decorations and I really love how it turned out I really love the contrast between the dark black uh, like details and uh, the colorful uh, colorful yeah that's it okay so yeah, we're almost at the end of today's video. So as I already mentioned, you can download this build on the gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims YT. You can also grab it in the description box below as tray files from my coffee page. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would really, really mean the world to me because there are a lot of people that watch my videos who are not subscribed so i feel like it would be nice if you subscribed and you wouldn't miss any videos i post uh, in the future and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for stopping by i really appreciate you making the time for uh, watching my videos and i will see you in my next video bye